Eminem has never been a stranger to violent and controversial lyrics. His shocking lyrics were always part of his act, and a reason why he became a household name. While he often indulged in the themes of drugs and violence in his songs, mainly through his alter ego Slim Shady, he used to do so with a humorous, nearly cartoonish twist. However, after 20 years in the entertainment business, the controversial nature of Eminem's work has taken a dark bizarre turn. In 2018, Eminem is 45 years old. He's still rapping, and he's still looking too shock and awe through controversial rhymes delivered with great precision. However, in today's music industry, one cannot get media coverage without fully complying with the occult elite's agenda. Framed as just this, Eminem being controversial, while fully complying with the elite's MK Ultra agenda. This promo picture from 2013, Eminem fully complying with the elite symbolism and agenda. One eye hidden in devil horns. This magazine cover from 2018, Eminem still doing what he needs to do to release albums. Framed is all about the elite's promotion of death, murder, mind control, and dark occult forces. In order to fully understand Framed, one must look at a song he released nearly 10 years before it. 3 AM. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you've learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. In 2009, after a four-year hiatus due to addiction to pills, writer's block and multiple hospitalizations, Eminem released the highly anticipated album, Relapse. To promote the album, Interscope Records created a fictional rehabilitation center called Pops and Pills, complete with a website and a phone number. This is the picture used for Pops and Pills. In one of the promo videos about Pops and Pills, the resident doctor, Dr. Balsack, describes his methods, surrounded with all kinds of items relating to trauma, torture, and mind control, all while supernatural forces appear to be interfering with the broadcast. This snapshot shows Dr. Balsack is surrounded by pills, surgical instruments, and a limbless mannequin with weird stuff hooked up to it. Needless to say, this rehab center does not seem to do Eminem good. Pop some pills sounds strangely like pop some pills, which is exactly what he shouldn't do there. It is during his stay at pop some pills, that Eminem becomes a serial killer animated with what looks like pure evil. Is pop some pills actually a mind control center? Was Eminem actually programmed there? Well, the video 3AM says it all. The song is about Eminem blacking out and killing people, as if a separate alter persona was doing it. It's 3AM in the morning. Put my key in the door, and bodies laying all over the floor and I don't remember how they got there. But I guess I must have killed him, killed him. In the video, Eminem walks around the rehab center, completely out of it, and murders everybody there. In this scene, he sits next to a mannequin, a classic mind control symbol representing a programmed alter persona. As the title of the song clearly implies, this alter persona is controlled by diabolical forces. Indeed, for centuries, 3 AM has been known to be the witching hour. In folklore, the witching hour, or devil's hour, is a time of night associated with supernatural events. Creatures such as witches, demons and ghosts, are thought to appear, and to be at their most powerful. Black magic is thought to be most effective at this time. In the Western Christian tradition, the hour between 3 and 4 a.m. was considered a period of peak supernatural activity, due to the absence of prayers in the canonical hours during this period. To emphasize the satanic nature of 3 a.m., the song ends with Eminem whispering the words evil rise several times in an incantatory manner. An important element of monarch programming involves satanic rituals, demon assignments, and other dark occult and traumatizing things. 
Through all of these clues, it becomes clear that Pops and Pills is actually a mind control facility where Eminem has been programmed to kill. The fact that the mind control facility is disguised as a rehabilitation center is also significant. As I stated years ago, notably about Lindsay Lohan, celebrities going to rehab is often code for going for reprogramming. And programming involves drugs, trauma, torture, and some sick twisted satanic stuff. Nearly 10 years later, Eminem releases Framed, which continues where 3AM left off, and further the confirms the concept of occult mind control. At the beginning of the video, a newscaster explains that Eminem escaped Pops and Pills and is barricaded inside a house. There, Eminem hangs around corpses and dismembered body parts. Other than playing around with body parts, Eminem draws feverishly creepy and violent images. This drawing shows where Eminem stabbed a headless woman as a single eye watches on. There's lots of single eyes in the video, symbol of occult elite control. And this, one eye behind bars. This image pops up several times during the video. It's Eminem with devil horns with a woman's legs instead of eyes. Pure MK imagery, where the slave cannot see for himself, his vision is replaced with the handler's programming. The fact that Eminem draws lots of images is significant. Victims of trauma-based mind control have a propensity for drawing extremely vivid and symbolic images, as if it was the only way of externalizing what happened in their psyche. The painfully vivid paintings of Kim Noble, a survivor of monarch mind control with 13 alter personas, is a perfect example. Like Noble, Eminem has several personas. During the first verse, he raps. Three personalities bursting out of me, please beware. Throughout his career, Eminem embodied three personalities. Eminem, the rapper, Slim Shady, the shady alter ego, and Marshall Mathers, the real person. In recent years, Eminem explained that the line between his egos was starting to blur. One thing is for sure, in Framed, Eminem has no control over his personalities. He can't even remember what one alter does when triggered. This snapshot shows Eminem's three personas move maniacally around bloody corpses. In the second verse, Eminem describes some of the murders he committed. Woke up, it was dawn, musta knew something was wrong. Think I'm becoming a monster cause of the drugs that I'm on. Donald Duck's on, there's a Tonka truck in the yard. A dog, how the f*** is Ivanka Trump in the trunk of my car? This drawing represents Ivanka Trump in Eminem's car, while Donald Duck appears to be stabbing her. Another rhyme is about a toddler. Another dismembered toddler discovered this winter probably. Caused the disassembled body. Was covered up in the snow since the month of November oddly. Here, a knife slashes an adult's throat, while also dismembering a toddler. Midway through the video, a newscaster interviews Detective Shelter. The detective takes his watch out of his pocket, sees that it is 2.45 a.m., and says that he has to go. Detective Shelter enters the house, and sits Eminem down. As the detective yells at him, Eminem hallucinates horned heads and other creepy things. At exactly 3 o'clock, the detective takes out his pocket watch and uses it to hypnotize Eminem. Juxtaposed to this scene, the detective wears a lab coat. We then see Eminem back at Pops and Pills, sitting in a wheelchair, being hypnotized by the detective. As Eminem is hypnotized, the detective is revealed to be Eminem's doctor. The fact that the doctor or mind control handler is also the detective assigned to the murder cases, hints to a rather high-level conspiracy. Shelter programmed Eminem's altar to murder people in a sadistic yet ritualistic manner. When the job was done, he took back control of Eminem through hypnosis. Or did this all happen in Eminem's head? The scene, the handler sticks a needle in Eminem's arm. MK slaves are heavily drugged during programming. At the end of the video, Eminem is wheeled out of the room, heavily sedated. Yet another pop star depicted as a powerless mind-controlled slave. The music industry has changed since Eminem began in 1998. 
While his violent and controversial lyrics were once portrayed as the product of a clever yet rebellious spirit, the controversy of Framed is perfectly in line with the elite's agenda. Death, murder, dehumanization, mind control, Satanism. It is all there. Not unlike Lil Uzi Vert's video about death blood pills and Satanism, not unlike Rihanna's blood and torture video, not unlike a bunch of other videos. There is nothing rebellious about Framed, it is exactly what they want Eminem's fans to be exposed to. And, like the videos of countless other pop stars, Eminem is depicted as a confused and powerless pawn in the hands of powerful people. How many actual people were programmed in Framed to kill for the elite? More than you think. Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job. All is appreciated greatly. You may not agree with everything from the content I post. Apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. This everything inside me channel, see you on the next video. Stay safe and healthy.